Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel and happy first day of Vlogmas! I've got my peppermint mocha here. Oh, so good, so festive. And I'm so excited to bring you this video. I've been wanting to do it since I started doing booktube and that is my TBR game. My TBR game has arrived and this video is going to be a whole explanation of how it works, what each of the prompts are, showing you all the cards. And then tomorrow that'll be a vlog and on Friday will be my December TBR. So shall we just get into it? I'm so excited. Okay, so here's my game. I built it on Procreate and then I used Board Game Maker to turn it into a card game. So there's a bunch of people running up my street right now. Um, oh my goodness, why? Like why? Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. It's also like freezing rain outside. I don't understand. Okay, anyway. So I have, I just did a black background on the cards and then each front is pink with a drag queen on it because yes, my game is drag queen themed. I haven't decided what I'm gonna title it yet, but um, it'll be in the title of this video. Okay, so basically the way this game is gonna work is I have my cards and um, starting off, I think this month we're actually gonna pick like eight books, but I'm not gonna get to all of them, but I have a readathon where I'd like to hit eight different prompts. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I haven't decided how many we're gonna do this month. Going forward, we're gonna do four or five, and then when I graduate, we'll maybe change up the game a little bit and have like a dice determine how many cards we're gonna pull um, because right now I'm only reading about four to five books a month with school. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we'll roll a dice. The dice will tell us how many times we're gonna shuffle this deck and then I'm going to kind of just like splay it out like this and pick the cards and then we'll have to find books that fit the prompt. So I'm really excited. <laughs> right now I'm not gonna introduce any punishments because this game is more of a fun thing to help me figure out what I'm gonna read for the month than punishing myself for not reading. But again, maybe when I'm not in school anymore, we will see. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you each card and each prompt and explain why the prompt goes with the card. So are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, I have my cards here and all the prompts are on my phone and a good thing about having all these prompts on my phone and the reason I didn't just put them on the cards is because I can change them up when I get all the way through the deck. So the first card that we have is Miss Trixie Mattel and the prompt for this card is Pole Pick. Um, because on Trixie's season of All Stars 3, um, oh yeah, I was gonna say, she was on All Stars 7, or season 7 of RuPaul's Drag Race and All Stars 3. On All Stars 3, it was like a poll decision of who was gonna go to the finals. So she is a poll pick. And that will go on my Instagram or my Twitter. We'll see. Okay, prompt number two, card number two is Katya my favorite queen and she is thriller or mystery because she is mysterious and yeah so she's a thriller mystery and she's from season seven of rupaul's drag race and all stars two next up we have bob the drag queen and bob is highest rated on tbr because i personally think that she may be the top queen to ever come out of RuPaul's Drag Race and she won RuPaul's Drag Race season eight. Next up, we have one of my other faves, Ginger Minge. Um, Ginger is shortest book on my TBR. So for this one, I will go through my Goodreads and sort by length. Um, she's tiny. So I picked her for the shortest. She was on um, season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars two, and the most recent All Stars six. I believe. This is really gonna test my drag race trivia. Okay, next up we have another one of my favorites, Miss Vanessa Vanji Mateo. And 
for her. She was on season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race and also season 10. Um, I should have brought my Vanjie button. I have a Vanjie button, so maybe you will find that. But um, for her, I picked romance because in season 11, she and Brooklyn Heights had romance. So next up, we have Miss Cameron Michaels. She was on season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And um, for her, I picked largest on TBR because she's very like muscly and strong. Um, so again, I'll just sort my Goodreads by size. Next up, we have Miss Brooklyn Heights, the Queen of the North herself. She was on RuPaul's Drag Race season 11, and then she's gone on to host Canada's Drag Race. And for her, I chose a Canadian author because she's Canadian. So am I. Next up, we have Miss Rosé. Um, Rosé was on season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race and for her we chose a book set in the UK because she's from Scotland. Next up we have Jan. Jan was on season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race and All Stars 6 and for her we have a book set in New York City. Then we have Heidi in Closet and she was on season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race and for her it's a book with a pun in the title because her name is a pun. Next up we have Gigi Good, um, and they were on season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race, and for them we have a book with LGBTQ plus rep. Next up we have Crystal Method. She was also on season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race, and for her we're doing a book with a reference that references something you don't understand, um, because throughout the season, RuPaul would refer to her as Eldebarge, and she had no idea who that was. So now, Crystal Method, kind of wacky, aren't you? A little bit. And do you know you have the hair of Eldebarge? I don't know who that is, no. So I thought that was a fitting prompt. Next up, we have The Vixen. She was on season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race, and for this one, we have a strong lead character because she was very strong and like called a lot of people out so strong male strong lead character next up we have cynthia lee fontaine she was on season 9 and 10 of rupaul's drag race and we have a spicy read because she is often a very spicy queen a very like sexy queen she talks a lot about certain things. Oh, my cuckoo is fantastic, girl. So, spicy read. Next up, we have Priyanka, and she was the uh, winner of Canada's Drag Race season one. And her prompt is the first book in the series because she was the first queen to win Canada's Drag Race. Next up, we have Lemon. And for Lemon, who was also on season one of Canada's Drag Race, we have the prompt a young adult book um, because she often, I believe her snatch game, she was Jojo Siwa and she also wore, um, did like a toddlers and tiaras look. So a young adult book. Next up we have Bibi Zahara Benet and she was on season one of RuPaul's Drag Race, one or two. And then she was also on All Stars three and because she was the first person to ever win Drag Race, I did, um, we're gonna read an author's debut novel. Next up, we have Mama Ru herself. And the prompt for this is just whatever freaking book I want because RuPaul just does whatever the heck she wants, as you can see from the show. So <laughs> this is a fun card because I can just do whatever I want with it. Next up, we have Serena Chacha. And Serena was on season two of RuPaul's Drag Race, and then she was on All Stars six. And she's just, um, not my queen. <laughs> but anyway, for her, we have lowest rated on TBR because she went home first on All Stars six. Next up, we have Bianca Del Rio. And for Bianca, we have a five-star prediction because I think a lot of people 
predicted that she was gonna win her season basically from the minute that she walked in so yeah we're gonna do a five star prediction for bianca and next up we have jackie cox another one of my favorite queens and this oh she was on season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race and for um, Jackie we're going to do a sci-fi or a fantasy pick um, because Jackie loves like Star Trek all that kind of sci-fi fantasy stuff. Next up we have Kylie Sonique Love. She was on All Stars 6 and spoiler alert if you have not oh she was also on All Stars season 2 or Drag Race season 2. If you have not seen the show the most recent season of All Stars. Spoiler alert, she did win. So for this one, we're gonna do um, recent purchase. She really blends into the card. <laughs> Next up, we have Tamisha Iman, and she was on season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And for this one, um, we have TBR Veteran. So this is someone who's been, or a book that's been on my TBR for a while. Um, and it's because she's an older queen. She's been trying to get on the show for a while. So I chose her for that. Next up we have Got Mick. And this one is a social media pick. Um, so I think for this one I'm just going to open up um, either Instagram or Twitter. And uh, the first book I see on there that I own I will read. She is really popular on social media. She's one of the queens that has over a million subs or followers on Instagram. So I picked her for the social media pick. Next up, we have Violet Tchotchke. She was on season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race and she did win that season. And for this one, we have a booktube pick. So again, first book I see on booktube that I own we will go with Violet and that's because she has a YouTube channel. Next up we have Willem. Willem was disqualified from season four of RuPaul's Drag Race but she is super famous for other things now so good for her honestly and hers is a book to movie or book to show adaptation because she's been in a lot of movies a lot of tv shows so um for her uh anything that has already become a movie or a TV show or anything that is about to be turned into it, we will read and it could be fun to watch also for a little vlog. So next up we have Alaska. Um, she was on season five of RuPaul's Drag Race and I believe she won season two of All Stars. Yeah. So for Alaska, we have a book club pick. I'm gonna say this one is um, just one that we're reading for book club that month um yeah so any book club pick will be this and i do not know why but i just i want to get that prompt in so there we go next up we have ms cracker um so this one actually goes with aquaria so these two were both on season 10 of rupaul's drag race and then i believe cracker was also on another all-star season that i haven't seen four or five i believe but they were often at uh compared to each other and been accused of doing each other's style so for cracker we have um someone else's tbr game so i will choose someone else's tbr game that i can easily play from my house and i will play that um for this card if it shows up and we will choose a book from that and then for aquaria we are going to steal a book from someone else's TBR. So I'll just find someone else's TBR in my YouTube subscription and choose a book from there that I want to read. Next up, we have Evie Oddly, and she was the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season 11. And hers is a horror pick. Um, she definitely does a lot of like out of the box, kind of like spooky, odd looks and then we have simone who is the most recent winner of the main drag race series she won season 13 and so for her we have a book that has to do with current events next up we have aiden zane 
Um, she was on season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race and hers is a seasonal read. So if we pick her for December, it will be a winter read. You know, it fits the seasons, okay? Um, these two go together. So we have Manila, Luzon, and Latrice Royale, and both of them are friend pick. So if either of them come up, we will ask a friend to choose a book for the TBR. Next up, we have Shangela. She was on season three and another season and All Stars 3. I haven't watched anything before season five, so I don't know exactly. Um, and hers is a second chance pick. So something I've picked up, haven't finished, or I picked up and put down again um, because she got multiple chances to come back on the show. Next up, we have Ben De La Creme. And for this one, we are gonna choose a book with a plot twist. Um, because on All Stars 3, um, Ben chose arguably the probably biggest plot twist that has ever happened on RuPaul's Drag Race and sent herself home. So this one will be a book with a plot twist and this will just be one where I've heard that there's a big plot twist that changes the book. Next up we have Acid Betty and she was on season, I never remember eight or nine um and hers is a hardcover so any book on my shelf that is a hardcover will fit because she's kind of a hard cover <laughs> like i don't know she's very much pisses me off so anyway next up we have kendall gender and she is on season two of canada's drag race currently airing while i film this um and for her um we picked a we'll pick a new to me author so an author i've never read before because she's a new queen to me and when i built this game i had not yet seen any episodes of season two so next up we have alexis mateo and this one is a library pick so basically if i draw this i will then go to the library and choose a book from there that whether it's on my tbr or not just a book that calls to me and i'll read it that month and that's because she has a very strong record with um reading challenges she was on season nine and maybe all stars i don't know but she is vanjie's drag mom so i do know that Next up, we have Jinx Monsoon. She was on season five of RuPaul's Drag Race and she did win. Um, for her, we have a random pick. So we're just gonna randomize my TBR on Goodreads and whatever book comes up, we get it. And that's just cause she's kind of random. She does a lot of random things. She's a very out there queen, very camp, so random. Next up, we have Coco Peru. And Coco is actually the odd one out in this because she has never been on Drag Race, but my mother really likes her. And so um, for this one, it will be a mom pick. Basically, my mom has so many books that she wants me to read that I just never get around to. So if we pull this one, she will be able to pick any book that she wants me to read. Next, we have Morgan McMichaels. And she was on season three of RuPaul's Drag Race. Maybe. And also an All-Stars season. Maybe All-Stars six? I don't know a lot about her. She didn't spend a lot of time on uh, whatever All-Stars season she was on that I watched. So um, for her pick, we have um, a graphic novel just cuz. <laughs> Next up we have Chad Michaels. Chad was on season two of RuPaul's Drag Race and won All Stars 1, I believe. Um, I haven't seen either of those seasons, but Chad is a Cher impersonator. So I have chosen the prompt, an author that is a, writes under a pseudonym. Next up we have Coco Montrese. And for her, we have an orange cover because there is an infamous scene where she is accused of looking very orange. Girl, look how orange you look, girl. All right, next up, we have April Carry On. Um, and April was on season 10 
or nine. I don't remember, I think nine. No, maybe 10. Anyway, she was one of the first queens to go home on her season. So for this one, we are doing Try a DNF. So a book that I have marked as DNF, I will try again. Because I personally would love to see her back on All Stars. So a, another, uh, it's similar to the Shangela cards, but this one has to be one I decided I didn't want to read. Next up, we have Milk. And Milk was on season eight and all stars <laughs> um and for this one we have a one word title because her drag name is just milk next up we have kimchi she was on season oh i know this nine or eight eight season eight of rupaul's drag race and for her we have um a pretty cover so i just need to pick a cover that i really like and that's because she is just like freaking amazing at makeup and she has her own beauty line so a beautiful color cover next up we have juice box juice box was the first eliminated on canada's drag race season one i love juice box um and she's grown on me so much since the first season so i wanted to be nice to myself and pick a mood read so any book that i feel like reading and just a freaking look look how pretty she is can you focus like gorgeous only a few more you're doing so well okay we're back uh, my camera overheated and then i wasn't recording so take three we have crystal and she is from season two i believe of drag race uk and for her prompt we have continuous series because she is like continuing the drag race uk series um so even though i've never seen any episode any full seasons of that show we got her on here next up we have electra shock who in my opinion is the only good one of the only good things to come out of drag race down under and for her we have a book with an underdog because she definitely was not supposed to do super well on the show and then she kind of shocked everyone and did quite well and i really liked her next up we have tainomi banks she was on drag race canada season one but she's also like basically drag race royalty here even though she has never she didn't win the season she went home pretty early but for her prompt we are doing anything with a poc rep we have Teresa may um and she was from this season of drag race uk season three again i did not make it through that season i do know who wins though but no spoilers but anyway I just loved her from the moment that she came on screen and also her character is so funny and her name is so funny um like a play on Theresa May anyway so if we pick her card we will be reading a non-fiction um like because she's named after a historical figure like a non-fiction anyway then the last two cards we have are just our esteemed judges Michelle Visage and Ross Matthews um and these were kind of just to finish out the deck but they're just going to be wild cards so i can pick whatever book i want but i have to pick it um at the time of filming the mood read i don't have to pick at the time of filming so that is the game thank you for listening <laughs> to this explanation and all the prompts um i hope that you'll stick around for december 3rd's video with my december tbr that i'm gonna go film right now um, I'm so excited. It's the last TBR of the year and I hope that you guys um, enjoy. If you love Drag Race, I hope that this is kind of cool thing for you. And if not, I hope that you enjoy watching this game and seeing what we get for the next however long that we play. Um, if you aren't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. This is the first video of Vlogmas. We will be posting every single day until December 26th taking Christmas off. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, all those things down below. My entire TBR is on Goodreads. So that's the place to look for what books I might be reading. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!